I'm here with Denise Desenzo, news anchor from WFSB Channel 3. Thank you so much, Denise. So far, it's a wonderful event. We have Wally Lamb. We have all these wonderful things, and it's for the Channel 3 Kids Camp. Now, you're the host of tonight. Now, um, you were the first to be honored at this luncheon nine years ago, correct? Now, the Channel 3 Kids Camp, how does that, how does that feel? How does that? How do you feel towards that, and why is it so important to be involved with the community and help younger kids or troubled teens? Oh, well, I, I think first of all, th this rap luncheon is called Rap W R A P for Women Raising Awareness Philanthropically. It's a mouthful, but it means in one word, kindness. It's a way to give back to the community. And the reason that the Channel 3 Kids Camp is so near and dear and close to my heart is that uh, we are providing an opportunity for children uh, to enjoy themselves for a period of weeks during the summer at a camp to get away from maybe the hardships that they're, they have in their life, present day lives. And it's a way to uh, make a difference in the life of a child. And what could be more noble than that, right? Um, now, you've been a pillar in, in, in Connecticut for, the, for, for a very long time, and again, you've done so much for us. The muscular dystrophy, uh, you used to do the Jerry Kids, I used to tune in every, every year. Oh, I remember did that. Did great yes. times, oh. and uh, Hilton Catterley yes. back in the day. Oh, you did watch, I can tell. I watched, yes, I did. Yes. Now, um, <clears throat> out of all the things that you've done, you've done a lot of, you've done a tremendous amount, right? You've accomplished a lot. Um, you were editor of your school newspaper. You, you, you graduated summa cum laude. You, you did all these great things. You won Emmys. Now, I asked Wally the same question. What, what, what is the best advice you could give anyone? Not, not, not just in, in, in to be successful, but in, in life. What, 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 is, what have you learned the most? I mean, you, you came from a great family. Father was a veteran. What, throughout this whole time, what have you learned the most that you could give to somebody, knowledge-wise? Well, first of all, before I answer that, let me commend you for your journalistic research, <laughs> because you basically encapsulated my life in a few seconds, so uh, kudos to you. You do a great job uh, researching your subject, so I just wanted to point that out. Very good. Now, in terms of advice, what I would offer, well, um, that's a, that's a great question, and I'm happy to answer that, because I found that there is a, a single a uh, bit of advice that was given to me by my mentor uh, out in Cleveland when I was working there for the uh, CBS affiliate uh, doing the 6 o'clock and 11 o'clock news. And that is this. It's the simple premise, and it took me a long time to learn this. A long time. But it's this. Never give anyone the power to make you doubt yourself. And I'll say it to you at home. Never give anyone the power to make you doubt yourself. If you believe something and you want to do it, go for it. Go for it. And go for it with every fiber of your being. Uh, believe in yourself and, and things will happen for you. And try to conduct your life with kindness. Kindness. It means so much. It's like throwing a, a stone in a pond and the ripple effects keep going and going. Um, it's just, it's, it's a wonderful way of, of giving back to the community and uh, something that we can do for each other as human beings. So be true to yourself, believe in yourself, and try to conduct yourself with kindness. And I do believe that uh, what you achieve will come your way. Thank you, and it's very similar to what Mr. Lamb had said earlier about uh, it takes a village. Thank you so much, Denise, for taking the time. I know you're super busy, and thank you so much. Oh, thank you for having me. Great job again. Thank you. Take care.